great promotion. I am excited to see so many students, families, teachers, staff, and community members and former teachers here with us to celebrate this day with the amazing fifth graders. I know that you all have many people who love you and are, are here, but if someone important couldn't make it, we are super lucky to have MCTV here, recording ceremony, so, you can, so they can see this later if they're not here, and I promise to send the link to your families. I feel really lucky to know, have known some of you since kindergarten, because you were in Kaisa's class and her friends. I heard great things about you all from her and about Mary Hogan teachers, so much so that I knew I wanted to be a hawk like you. And how lucky was I to become principal here when you were in first grade. I've, had, I've seen you grow, change, learn, wonder, help, create, play, sing, write, analyze, and so much in these last five years. It's been quite a journey um, we've been on together, and now you step out and continue at Moms, knowing that while your teachers and supporters from Mary Hogan may not be as close, we are still and will always be with you. One thing I started this year was asking some trivia questions at our all-school meeting. It was a way to bring us together and share knowledge as we were getting organized and settled in. I often ask questions about Middlebury and Vermont because I think knowing the place you live is important and helps define who you are. I realized the other day that there was an important trivia question about Vermont that I haven't asked yet. So I wanted to give you a sneak peek at the question at a question I'll ask next year. So here's your trivia question. What is the name of the 272 mile long footpath along the Green Mountains that starts at the Massachusetts border and flows north to Canada? Take a minute to think and if you have a guess, turn to a neighbor and share your guess with them. If you thought the answer was the long trail, you're right. <laughs> so this trail runs along the spine of the Green Mountains in Vermont. The trail was built by hand between 1910 and 1930, 100 years ago. It became the inspiration for the Appalachian Trail, which is a 2,000 mile trail that starts in Georgia and runs all the way to Maine along the Appalachian Mountains. The Green Mountain Club, the organizer that maintains the long trail describes what you might see as you hike. They say, on the long trail, hikers encounter the best natural features Vermont has to offer, including pristine ponds, steep alpine sedge, hardwood forests, and swift streams. Known as the footpath of the wilderness, it is easy in a few sections and rugged in most. Steep inclines and plenty of mud present hikers with plenty of challenges. The Long Trail contains beautiful places in Vermont and scenic vistas. You can see into New Hampshire or New York from different places. You can also see the beauty of moss carpeting the ground, the red Fs on the trail. You can swim in Skylight Pond and find a shelter, find shelter in a cabin put there by careful planners many years ago. Along the way, you may also find the trail has some treacherous bits. There are places full of roots that seem to want to grab your ankles, causing you to fall. There are wet places that drench your feet and mosquitoes that pester you, and rock scrambles that look super fun going up, but coming down are slippery. This trail is truly the trail for everyone. Most people who hike the long trail are day hikers who climb a mountain, but hundreds of people each year complete the hiking the whole trail, either all at once as a through hiker or over years hiking sections at a time. You might be wondering why I'm telling you all about the long trail, <laughs> but I was thinking about your journey that began before Mary Hogan and continues afterwards, just like the long trail. Each year at Mary Hogan was like tackling a section or two of the long trail. 
You had to put in hard work to move ahead, putting one foot in front of the other. You had a chance to learn from those around you, perhaps other hikers on the trail or hawks at Mary Hogan. They encouraged you when you weren't sure you could make it up another hill. They held your hand when you felt unsteady. They were patient as you made your way down the path. You found shelter from unexpected storms just as you needed them, finding refuge in a teacher who could help you when things felt scary or out of control. Together, you got to see the beauty, too. The beauty of creating art together, of playing soccer with friends, of celebrating mastering a new spelling pattern or a math fact, <laughs> of working together to help make Mary Hogan even more awesome. So today, you're one more section of the long trail closer to the northern terminus, assuming you're going Nobo northbound. That northern terminus is where you want to be. Maybe it's graduation from the high school. Maybe it's after college, after you're 30, 45, 60, 100. Wherever it may be, I know you are well on your way. You have weathered the first storms, gotten lost, found yourself back on the trail, and experienced a little trail magic. I can't wait to hear more about the next sections you'll hike. And I know all of us want to hear, so come back and see us. You're never too old, or too cool, or too anything to swing by and say hi. You are now and forever Mary Hogan Hawks. And perhaps you'll remember us because we will keep you in our hearts. We know how much you loved your personal pizzas from Green Peppers during the park. We will remember watching you trot across the hall to mixed reading groups in first grade, we have stories of the COVID times and how we connected with you online, drove to your houses to wave from afar, and saw you in many masks. We remember your return to school after the COVID closure in second grade and celebrating when we could go to school every day, not just every other day in person. But we didn't mix classes then. And so in third grade, we could mix classes. It was amazing. We will remember your kindness rocks that brightened downtown during COVID and the new Middlebury bridges you designed. We will remember seeing you as being part of the judicial system in a mock trial in fourth grade as you learned about how our government works. And of course, we will tell future students about how much you researched and how knowledgeable you became during exhibition, how you shared your learning, both of your topic and of how to work together with others and then the inspiring action you took to make the world a better place. You made our school a better place to be, from picking up trash, to offering reusable hawk water bottles, considering runoff reduction, to sharing seeds for pollinator beds, and more. You're an amazing group of fantastic individuals. How lucky are we to know you and watch you along the way? Thank you for being Mary Hogan Hawks. share your reflections with this video um, with many thanks to the teachers and Kurt Broderson and MCTV for bringing it to us today and we're going to have the lights in the front come down so don't be surprised um, and you can watch either screen we should have the video on both. Hi my name is Nolan and my favorite Mary Hogan memory was hug your teacher day in Kate's class. Hello, my name is Victor, and um, a piece of advice that I have for you is um, if, you, if you look for knowledge, you look down the well, and if you um, look for power, you fall down the well, and no one will save you. Yo, what up? I'm Seb, and some words of advice about Keek is if it's been like the mild 60s the entire week, and you get the chance to go swimming. <clears throat> and you can hear the other kids who are already swimming, screaming. When you're halfway down the shoreline, maybe don't get in the water unless you have like an industrial grade heater in your cabin. Yo, I'm Dash. And a word of advice is that when you're at rock bottom, the only way to go is up. But when you're at the top, the only way to go is down. So stay near the top.
not uh, just there, about there. Oh, sorry. Hi, my name is Jeremiah, and a word of advice is don't break your arm during biking unit. It hurts. Stay in school, kids. Hi, my name is Henry, and my favorite Mary Hogan memory was probably swimming at Keek. Hi, my name is Natalie, and one of my favorite quotes is from Hamilton. It's, I am the one thing in life I can control. Hi, my name is Cecilia, and my favorite Mary Hogan memory is Wicked Strict Wednesdays in Mr. Brooks' class. Hi, I'm Ella, and you probably know me because I'm really amazing. Um, but one of my quotes is that if you feel like you can't do something, you can. If you just keep climbing, then one day you'll be on top. Hi, my name's Ashling, and my favorite Mary Hogan memory is going to the Monshire Museum. My name's Dottie, and my favorite Mary Hogan memory is in 2023's fifth grade promotion when it poured after we had to run back to the school in the rain. Hi, I'm Ellie, and a quote is, if it feels hard, it's because it is hard, so take it easy on yourself. Can I get a big shout my for, for my teachers, please? Woo! Thank you. Hi, my name is Juni, and suck it up and say sorry. It's worth it. My name is Seamus, and I have some words of advice for you. If you don't pay attention and then you miss something important, you won't know how to do it right. And not only will you miss the chance to do it, but you'll also fail miserably and never graduate. Hi, my name is Willow, and one of my favorite memories from Mary Hogan was having fifth grade big buddies. I'd like to thank all my teachers for helping me get here. My favorite fifth grade memory is my teacher helping me with my work and thank you, you to all my teachers. I'm Timmy and my favorite memory from Mary Hogan was going to Kuwaitan. Hi, I'm Shelby and my favorite Mary Hogan memory is when I went to Kuwaitan and met a lot of new friends. Hi, I'm Peyton and my favorite uh, Mary Hogan memory is tat, PE and tag and dodgeball. Hi, my name is Camden, and my motto is adversity makes you stronger, and so does milk. Hi, my name is Claire, and my favorite Mary Hogan memory is writing a book with my friend. Hi, my name is Lenny, and my motto that I think is important to live by is, if you are waiting for the right time, it's now. It's important to me because you can spend your entire life waiting for the perfect time, and no time is ever perfect, so do it now. Hi, my name is Phoebe, and... One of my favorite Mary Hogan memories is when we went to Keek and I met a bunch of friends and we made arrowheads together. Hi, my name is Ashlyn and my favorite memory is probably just third grade in general. Hi, my name is Bram and my favorite Mary Hogan memory was having Miss Burnham as my third grade teacher. Hi, my name is Oakley and my favorite school memory was playing sports at PE. My favorite Mary Hogan memory when I was in third grade in Miss Corgan's class and my uh, because I was in Miss Corgan's class and my second one when I was in fourth grade in Miss Kate's. Hi, class. my name is Tonner and a piece of advice is make a lot of friends. Hi, my name is Nicholas and my favorite Mary Hogan moment was going to Key Wade and spending <coughs> nights with my friends. Don't do up. Uh, I'm Harvey, and I have a, um, a piece of advice for everyone. You can do anything you want, but you can't do everything you want. My name's Silas, and my favorite Mary, and my favorite Mary Hogan memory is the few trips. My name is Milo, and my favorite Mary Hogan memory is all the fun things we did in Teachers. My name is Dallas. And good advice, you do you, stay curious. <clears throat> my name is Kenna, and my favorite memory at Mary Hogan is um, making friends and going to the pool. My name is Greta, and a bit of advice, take things one step at a time, because it always helps to get through tomorrow instead of rushing through your life. My name is Anya, and a piece of advice says, if you try to learn, it can be fun, and then you can do it. My name is Annika, and a piece of advice I have for you is you can give up, but not forever, and take your time. Hi, I'm Bianca, and something that my fourth grade teacher taught me was to take your time, and failure is the first step 
to success, so just keep going. Hi, my name is June, and one of my favorite Mary Hogan memories was in fourth grade when somebody said a funny song, and then my teacher said it was his favorite song. Um, hi, I'm Michelle, and my, I think an important thing to know is that um, failure is not final, mistakes are not fatal, it's the courage to continue that counts. Hello, my name is Brady, and my favorite Mary Hogan memory is making new friends. My favorite Mary Hogan memory is probably all the teachers and all the fun things that we did. What was we kind? Uh, my name's Carter, and my favorite memory at Mary Hogan is all the field trips. Hi, I'm Gil, and I think that Kiwaden was one of best things about Mary Hogan. Hi, my name is Zephyr and my motto is one step at a time. Hi, I'm Vivian and one of my mottos is you can do it because if something hard is going on or you're going through something hard, you can always do it. And sometimes you don't get it on the first try, but always you will do it. Hello, my name is Owen and I really like Zanfi. My name is Jeremiah. My favorite memory from Mary Hogan is seeing my friends. I love Drake. Hi, my name is Ian, and my favorite Mary Hogan memory is going to Keek and climbing up Mount Musilamu. Hi, my name is Kaiza, and a quote that I'd like to share with you is, be open-minded, but always speak the truth. And now, a big shout out to my Mary Hogan teachers and friends. You made me who I am today. Go Mary Hogan! I would now like to invite up Ms. Collins' class and her class to receive their promotion certificates. Please hold applause until the end of each class. Greta Allen Bittner. Abel Bacon. Harvey Bishop. Carter Chapman. Michelle Garcia. Dallas Greeno. June Hill. Jeremiah Hines. Milo Kim. Noah LaRose. McKenna McGettrick. Oscar Murphy. Annika Norton. Silas Porter. Anya Prisperhart. Vivian Rafferty. Bianca Spafford. Brady Wedge. Congratulations. their promotion certificate. 
tickets. Graham Allen. Nicholas Bergeron. <coughs> Gil Bratzmus. <laughs> Helena Clinton White. Timothy Curran. Ashlyn Eddy. Ian Edmonds Beebe. Claire Grimmer. Oakley Hunt. Marion Rapp. Camden Reed. Connor Sampson. <coughs> Owen Smith. <coughs> Phoebe Suter. Shelby Tenney. Peyton Tracy. Gabriel Volk. Natalie Anderson. <laughs> Juniper Binchadler. <laughs> Seamus Clohesse. <laughs> Ella Corrigan. Sebastian Grant. Zephyr Haugen. Willow Hunt. Henry McDonough. Jared Miller. Nolan Porteous. Kaiser Remsen. <laughs> Cecilia Sasser.
Jeremiah Starr. Ellie Stedman. Congratulations to Mr.
this world of swirling events and energy, I wish to you peace also. Follow the naturalist John Moore's advice. Climb the mountains and get their good tidings. Nature's peace will flow into you as sunshine flows into trees. The winds will blow their own freshness into you and the storms their energy, while cares will drop away from you like the leaves of autumn. And to remember what I shared with you yesterday at all school meeting, that gratitude brings you joy and helps rewire your brain. Practice gratitude. Recognize what is good. Thank the people and the things that make your life and your day a little brighter. It will fill you and the other person up, bringing more joy and awe to your community. And who doesn't want to live in a place of gratitude, joy, and wonder? I do, and I know you do too. In a few moments, the first fifth graders will recess and meet their families outside on the grass. All the backpacks are back at Mary Hogan, so after connecting, please head back to school and get their things, and you can celebrate. Celebrate what amazing people you are, you will become, and know that you fill our hearts with joy, love, and awe each day we get to be with you. We will miss seeing you each day next year. This all means that we will savor our time with you tomorrow for one last day to be together and celebrate with a breakfast and some games that involve friendly competition. I am certain to see your smiles and hear your laughter. I wish only the best for you and cannot wait to hear about the roads and the trails you take. Congratulations, fifth grade. Once more together today, thank you.